Shaquem Rashida is a Huntsville tattoo artist and the owner of the Art I Fact Tattoo Gallery. He hasn't been able to paint on his usual canvases in months since the state orders were announced. Naturally, Rashida and other parlor owners' businesses have suffered tremendously during the shutdown, but they're also ineligible for many business support programs. We have not been given unemployment. We have not been approved for PUA loans, for FPUC loans, um, or, 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 or pandemic relief money, or any of these things that are federally subsidized. And they're all frustrated because, as Rashida puts it, their normal sanitation procedures are much more stringent than the businesses legally open now. Those of us with the most foresight already kind of in implemented a lot of that to start with when this whole thing began, just to protect ourselves, um, because we're mostly a self-directed crowd, like he said. We're, we're, you know, we already know what to do. We already know how to protect ourselves. Actually, we can teach some people some things. The reason those standards are so high is because, unlike a barber shop, their trade can have similarities to a doctor. Dealing with, we're dealing with blood and bodily fluids, you know what I mean? And there's, a, there's a, a common risk there that we only share with doctors. He and other tattoo artists are even more frustrated because on top of still being inoperable, opportunity for business is ringing their doorbell. Simultaneously, some others who are eligible for unemployment have more money coming in the mail each week than they did when they were working. You know, there's a lot of people who are getting about 800 bucks a week who were making less than 400 a week just two months ago, and they're ringing my phone off the hook wanting tattoos. As the state government plans for the reopening, Rashida already has a few suggestions. Uh, a face mask for self, the artist and the client, and at least a uh, plastic face shield uh, for the artist would be smart, as well as limiting uh, clients to one at a time, no friends coming in the building with them. Even if you're the type of person who sticks to temporary tattoos, you and your community can support local tattoo artists. Artists sell clothing, art, and more to support their families while they're temporarily out of a job. Landon Wexler, CBS 42, local coverage you can count on.